नमस्कार स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप क्वेश्चन ऑफ वन मार्क्स फ्रॉम द चैप्टर प्लोटिंग विथ पाइप्लोट असाइनमेंट्स सो इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेटिक्स प्रैक्टिस क्लास ट्वेल्व सो एज पर द सैम्पल पेपर इफ यू हैव सीन आई हैव अपलोडेड वीडियो ऑल्सो थ्री पार्ट आई हैव अपलोडेड फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्व आई पी सैम्पल पेपर सो इन दैट देर आर ट्वेंटी वन क्वेश्चन गिवन from this type of question objective type of questions so there are 21 questions you have to attempt any 15 so out of them few questions they have asked from this chapter data visualization with pie plot so here we begin myself sanjay parmar i welcome you all on my channel tutorial aics ip before i i will start this youtube video if you are watching my video first time you are coming to my channel first time press the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon as well to get notified <coughs> so let we start so in this type of question you will get mcqs fill in the blanks and true false so first question a dash refers to the graphical representation of data and information using charts or diagrams or maps so here a simple definition i have taken for data visualization if anything coming related to these words graphical representation or pictorial representation of data information so the answer will be data visualization so you have to think about that words can be twisted but the answer will be data visualization second question data visualization helps to why we are using data visualization understand data easily yes correct take a decision yes it allows you to take a decision improve the last performance yes you can improve the last performance so the correct answer is all of this moreover there are few more advantages are also there associated with data visualization so here i have marked only three so more advantages are also there so that you can think of and you can give the correct answer if question comes like this question 3 is the dash module allows you to represent data visually in various forms so here module means the module which you are going to import okay so simply we are going to import pyplot module okay so pyplot is a module here you you should not write like that matplotlib.pyplot that can also be written but here the word is used module so you just understand the word okay because matplot library is a, a matplot is a library matplotlib and pyplot is a module so that difference you have to always remember and you have to give answer properly because here only one word answer is there there is no other word will fit in this answer so before writing this type of question you have to think of what they have asked what words they have used okay read more than once and then write the answer okay do not uh, show your excitement to write the answer as you know that so think little bit and then give the answer that next is the dash library provides the interface and functionality for plotting the graphs so here library word is used so library word coming in your question that time you have to write matplotlib so that you can write question 5 which of the following offers many different names collection of methods so here which of the following so offers many different names collection of methods so that means there are few methods and there there are collection of methods so that you have to write so pyplot matplotlib matlab and graphs so here you can see graphs there is nothing like graphs in python matlab that we are using for mathematics and pyplot pyplot is a module okay so here you can write matplotlib so sometimes pyplot and matplotlib what to write module or library but whenever library is given so library is having this different names of collection okay pyplot contain some classes objects and all but different collection of methods that matplotlib also contains because library having so many functions compared to modules so here do not give answer related to module but answer related to library question 6 which of the following is correct statement to import pyplot module so here which one is correct first is import matplotlib.pyplot that is correct 
import here m p l capital p p capital so that is wrong whenever you are importing any package or module in python all letters should be small only so here capital is there here also capital is given here small is given but pyplot dot plot there is no such module if you want to use pyplot module you have to write this first matplotlib then only you can write pyplot next question a dash chart displays information as markers connected by straight lines okay, so markers marker means dots whatever dots are coming onto your chart so that can be connected through lines so here connected through through lines so only one chart is there that is line chart <coughs> question 8 a bar chart is also known as column chart so yes the answer is correct so that is true it is true false the entire is covered by the graph is known as dash okay so the entire chart here chart or graph what one what is missing the entire chart is covered by the graph is also known as figure or chart area whenever you are working on pie plot the entire chart which covers the chart or graph that can be considered as figure or chart area you can write both both are the correct answer in the textbook figure word is given but you can write chart area as well and plot area means where you are plotting the values in form of bar lines or scatter or histogram whatever you are using question 10 which is common method used to plot data on the chart now common method used to plot data on the chart so whenever you want to plot data then you have to use this plot or whatever object you have created that you have to mention suppose import matplotlib.pyplot as pp so here you can write pp.plot the next method is show method this type of question is there in your sample paper you can check out one question they have asked something related to method so that can be any method can be asked so you have to understand which type of method is used for what purpose so that you remember so second is show show method is always used to display the chart if you write everything you have plotted the values you have given the labels x label y label category axis y axis everything but you have not written this show then it will not display the chart when you write plot it will plot a value on the chart plot is generally used for line chart so which is common method used to plot data on the chart so that can be considered as a plot if you are creating bar chart then the method will be bar chart legend so legend display the legends that is the category or values which is coming in small dots in form of colors that can be considered as a legend so it will display this uh, data is displayed in this color this data is displayed in this color so like that so that can you represent through legend and title if you want to use title if you want to give the title for your chart suppose progress report chart that you want to write so that you can use title method question 11 which of the following is our correct statement for plot method so here which one is the correct statement so pl dot plot x y color and others so these are the four parameters and these four parameters can be used with plot method so this is also correct first two x and y there are the category axis and value axis then color color whatever color you want to use for marker for lines there you can use and others other parameter also you can use so in other you can consider like something you want to add with the chart so that you can specify there like width and bar width and all so line width you can change so like that you can apply we will discuss that thing in uh, case study type questions in another video pl dot plot xy this is also correct you can ignore this parameter so by default it will display blue or red or whatever color is there but generally i have seen if only one value is there one value is plotted one category is plotted then it will display blue color line then pl dot plot xy color so this can be also used you can write the color so these are the correct statement so you can write all of this if you are going for the syntactical statement then sometimes this syntax is not correct we have to write here color name we have to write here values so here this consider these all are the syntax 
if they have given example you have to write answer as per the example whatever they are giving in that example so while choosing the correct answer read carefully and understand what they have given what they have given correctly what they have given not correctly suppose sometimes they are writing color equal to <clears throat> color equal to red but c is capital so in parameter you can use or not that you have to check okay so basically in parameter we are writing in small letters so everywhere in python whatever inbuilt methods are there so somewhere some of the letters may be capital but it is not there in python almost we are using small letters in few methods i have seen only few capital letters are there otherwise you have to write in normal form that is the main advantage of python as well because in java you have to remember so many methods that is small letter capital letter like that suppose if they are using this uh, display plot so display plot they will use d and p capital means in title case manner they were using in java but in python there are few functions they have the capital letters or initial letter is capital question 12 what are the mandatory parameters to plot data on chart for plot method so plot method whenever you are using plot method which are the mandatory part okay so here x and y color others and none of these so whenever you are plotting the plot method or plotting line chart that time you have to specify x and y color is optional others is also optional if you are not providing these two things then it will take the by default value but x and y what you want to plot that you have to must specify category axis and value axis so both can be coming through x and y so that is the correct answer question 13 to give a title to x axis which of the following method is useful so whenever you want to write title which of the following method will be useful so pl dot x title so title method is not there so this will not come pl dot x label title yes this is the correct method x label so x label give label to the x axis or title to the x axis of your chart then pl dot x header that is also wrong x label dot show that is also wrong so this is the correct answer so x label similarly if the question comes related to y axis there will be y label and then whatever title you want to write that can be specified in double quotes question number 14 the pl dot show method must be used to display the chart in the end of the chart specification yes true okay whatever you want to display that you have to write on top of it and then at last you have to use pl dot show otherwise sometimes some of the method cannot be reflected on your chart or some of the values cannot be displayed some of the attributes whatever you have used like color width bar width whatever there so that cannot come on the chart so that's why all specification you write on top of it and then at least uh, at least you can use some of the pro common properties and and at the end of your program or end of the specification you can write pl dot show otherwise after showing after displaying that value may not be considered in a chart so before that you write everything whatever you want to specify for your chart then you can use pl dot show question 15 the dash method is used to create a line chart line chart so simply pl dot plot method is there pl dot pi is creating pie chart pl dot call there is no such method whenever you want to use column chart you have to use bar method and pl dot line so line is also not there so the correct answer is pl dot plot plot function is there question 16 to create a horizontal bar chart bar function is used true okay whether it is horizontal bar chart the bar function will be used and then you can specify the changes for the horizontal values or horizontal display of that particular chart to change the width of bars in bar chart which of the following argument with a float value is used so here you have to consider the float value so first is thick second is thickness third is width and fourth is bar width so here the answer is width thick that parameter is not there thickness parameter is not there and bar width is also not there <clears throat> question 18 you can set different width for different bars in bar chart so here different width for different bars so that you can set in your chart so that will be the true statement 
because set different width for different bars you can set accordingly some uh, bar you want to fit as 20 v 20 pixel some will be 24 like that so that you can specify by using different methods so that is correct to apply color you can only specify the color names okay that is wrong you can use color codes as well so this is false statement question 20 and last question which method is used to display or show the legends so here pl.show pl.display pl.legend and pl.values so the correct answer is pl.legend pl.show i have already explained pl.display there is no such function and pl.values there is also no such function in python so the correct answer is pl.legend so i hope you uh, understood the concept the question and all the answers as well if you have any question regarding this topic you can comment and you can express your feelings about this video write down in comment which topic from this part you like the most and motivate us thank you very much for watching this video keep watching keep learning